Why hello there, today we're gonna talk about something that isn't really My Hero Academia, instead we're gonna talk about anime in general and spring, because we have just recently, you know, hit the spring season of 2018, so I thought I'd talk about the anime that I'll be watching and some of the anime that I will purposely leave out for the time being because I have too much on my plate. And if it sounds like I'm dying more than usual, that's because I've been inflicted by the Black Death, also known as the Common Cold. So yeah. I am sorry about that, but not much I can do about it. I felt like I needed to make a video because I haven't uploaded in like three days. So it's about time I did that, even though it's not My Hero Academia related, you know, it's something at least. So let's just get right into the anime of the spring season that I'll be watching. Firstly, not really a big of a surprise. I guess the list added in here, yes, yeah, so in case some people are new, they don't really know me, you know. My Hero Academia, definitely watching that. Of course, season three is going to be the best season so far, but you know, I mean, even though I know what's gonna happen, it's gonna be a really good experience because we get to see everything animated, we see all of the dialogue and stuff like that, and you know, we're gonna get some new OSTs being brought into the series, which will be great. But looking at the bigger picture, My Hero Academia is the only series that I'll be reviewing really, but at the same time, I don't really know if it's gonna be the best series that's gonna be airing in the spring season. It's really hard to tell because we have some pretty big competitors going into spring. The second anime I'll be watching is Toki Ghoul Re, and the reason why I'm watching this I mean it's not really a big reason for it I mean I have read the manga I'm caught up with the manga right so I do know what's gonna happen when it comes to Tokyo Ghoul as well however this is more of a time killer for me you know I like Tokyo Ghoul the story in Tokyo Ghoul is quite good actually so I'm just watching it for the enjoyment over anything else I'm not gonna review it you know I'm not gonna be doing any videos on it really so there you go next up I'm gonna be watching Food Wars or Shokugeki no Soma season 3 second core important to note it's not season 4 but I mean you could call it season 4 if you want you know I'm not not gonna kill you if you do but it is season three second core if you want to be technically correct so that's gonna be good especially because this part that we're getting the second core of season three of food wars is gonna cover my favorite arc in the whole story so far and yes i've read the manga of food wars as well i am caught up with it so we are going to be going into some really good stuff i can promise you like if you don't like this arc let's just say food wars probably isn't for you because this is gonna be the arc that really puts the story at its peak in my opinion because we have kind of left this arc in the manga and moved on to the next arc which is a link to this arc but at the same time it's not quite as good in my opinion it's very dragged out and stuff like that but I'm not really gonna get into that because of course a lot of people don't read a manga so yeah there you go but it's gonna be really good um I really looking forward to seeing that stuff all of the stuff that we're gonna be getting in this season it's gonna be truly spectacular now the upcoming series are series that I don't read a manga for and the first one I'm gonna be checking out and this was suggested by my friend Kirutaku the series in question is Golden Kamui now I I watched the first episode of this and it's really good so far. I really like the whole thing they're doing. Animation wise, it's actually really good. Some people were complaining about w some of the CGI that we saw in it, like with a bear, but at the same time, I really didn't see the big issue because it wasn't that bad. Like as far as CGI goes, the bear was really well done. Like you look at some of the other CGI in certain anime and you can see the whole thing with how some things look like they're from an incomplete video game. You know what I'm saying? Like you see like really bad CGI sometimes. And in this anime, you don't really get that experience. In this series, the CGI is where it needs to be, in my opinion. So far, at least, it could change. You know, you never know. You can never trust anything just from the first episode but that's kind of the vibe I'm getting if you've checked out this episode you'll you'll probably know what I'm talking about because it is beautifully animated it's really clean apart from said CGI of course which for CGI is still pretty clean honestly it really is the next series that I'm gonna watch is comic girls and the reason why I picked comic girls is because I really like this series that we get uh, during some seasons where it's about people wanting to draw a manga or write a story you know I don't know why but I just, I just really like the whole thing where we get the insight on a storyteller's perspective and I didn't really watch Ero Manga Sensei during the whatever season it was in 2017 but I did watch A Sister's All You Need from the fall season in 2017 and I really liked that despite it, you know, it had some lewd elements to it but it wasn't really that crazy. This one however based on episode 1 so we can't really judge it on episode 1 entirely of course but from what we've seen it looks to be the least 
erotic one yet. It looks to be more of a cute series rather than an actual etchy one, if you know what I mean. Like, we're probably not gonna be seeing anything mad in terms of lewdness. We're not gonna be seeing any borderline hentai going into these episodes from my understanding. Of course, again, that could change over the episodes. You just never know what these kind of things. Now, this next series that I'm gonna check out is actually very interesting because this is the one that I'm most hyped about or most interested about because it's called Hina Matsuri or Hina Festival and you know me and my friend Kiritaku we we were making jokes about this series when we saw the cover art originally which looked like the cover for the E.T. movie if you remember I mean maybe you don't because you're not old enough but if you've seen E.T. You'll know what I'm talking about, you know, the whole moon and the flying bike and stuff like that. We kind of saw something similar in the cover for Hinamatsuri originally until they changed it. And so, you know, I just wanted to watch this for the gag, really. But after watching the first episode, I am genuinely interested in this story because, you know, it's a slice of life that really touches on the supernatural, which is kind of different from what you usually get. I mean, yeah, it's not the first time Supernatural has ever come into a slice of life, and that's not what I'm saying, but I dare say it's probably my first time experiencing it, apart from when I watched Your Name, the anime movie, which, you know, it had some supernatural elements to it, but not really on the scale of this. This is more direct supernatural stuff, you know, the main character has actual powers and stuff like that. So it's really centering around the supernatural and the slice of life theme, I'd say, but it also has to do with the Mafia, so I'm really curious as to what's gonna be going on. Like, I don't really see it being full-on bloodshed, seeing as it's a slice of life. I, I honestly don't think that's gonna be the case. I tried checking out the manga, you know, just skimming through it, and I just couldn't do that, because from what I could tell, the manga just doesn't cover things as well as the anime, which is kind of weird, because usually it's the other way around. Usually the anime does a poor adaptation, but in this case, from the first chapter and the first episode, at least, the anime just does everything so much better in my opinion and I really hope that this becomes a good series overall and not just the first episode. I really hope this becomes something that I can enjoy all the way through. I think it's 12 episodes. It's not really a big anime. It's just a seasonal thing, you know. Now the last thing that I'm really gonna be watching this season right now and this is not a new anime. It's the continuation of Darling in the Franks. Now for those who don't know, which would be kind of surprising actually, it's an anime that started in the winter season about, it's a mech anime basically, but it doesn't really focus around the mechs at all. And that's why I like it, because I really hate mech animes, like if the, if the series revolves around mechs, I'm really not that interested in such series, but th in this case we don't really get that, it's more about the characters and seeing how they develop in certain ways, you know. I mean obviously there are gonna be some scenes when they're actually fighting fighting in mechs and stuff, which, you know, isn't really my favorite part of this story, but at the same time, you know, you gotta watch that to understand the rest of it, so you just gotta soldier through some of it, right, if you don't like that, but if you do like that, then that's not really gonna be a problem. And for me, yes, the story behind some of these characters are so strong that I just wanna keep watching, and the latest episode that we got, episode, I think, 13, was actually really fucking good in my opinion. That episode just made me just wanna keep watching until the very end, because we're gonna get some big insight on one of the main characters. We did get some big insight last episode, but I think it's gonna go even further next episode, and I really hope it just keeps building up and up and up, you know, until we get to that peak, because I just don't think we've reached that peak yet, and it would be a shame if we have, seeing as it's only been halfway through. I really don't want it to go downhill already. That would be a real shame, honestly. But yeah, that's really all of the animes that I'm planning on watching in the spring season. Some may wonder where is Megalobox, and the reason why I haven't picked this anime yet is because I have too much on my plate. Okay, I have too much anime that I'm watching. I don't really just want to keep watching anime and anime anime all the time, you know. I want some free time as well. So I'm gonna keep Mangala Box on hold for now, and I'm probably gonna check it out later. You know, I might take a break from some of the animes that I'm currently watching and replace it with Mangala Box for the time being, and then go back to another anime that I was originally watching, you know, to just keep things balanced. You know, I want to have kind of the same amount of series that I'm watching right now. I don't really want to overload myself with just too much anime per week. I, I just don't want to do that. So yeah, I think that's really all I had to say. I just wanted to kind of share with you guys what I'm going to be watching this season, and I'm sure you guys are going to be watching some entirely different stuff, because, I mean, obviously, there's a lot more anime being released this season. Honestly, the way I did this, um, I went with first come, first served kind of thing. So if I watched an anime, I liked it, I picked it on my list. And so there could be some really great anime that I'm missing out on for the time being, but that's just going to be how it is. I might just pick them up later, or not at all. You just never know with these kind of 
things. There was some anime coming out in winter that I just didn't pick up at all. So, you know, could go either way really, but I'd love to know what you guys are watching down below in the comments. And as always, if you did, be sure to Detroit smash that like button if you enjoyed and subscribe if you haven't already, if you want to see more My Hero Academia content, because that's what I primarily do on this channel. This has been Chaotic Plus, and remember everyone, Toga is waifu, Toga is life.